Umar Ahmed, IFL CV, MTK Global, we're at the Olympia for the MTK show, joined by James Hennigan. 3 0 now? Yeah, 3 0, fair fight then. Eh? It was meant to be on float on, on the thing, so we didn't know when to be ready, and then they come and said you're only 15. Right. And so, so I was happy with performance, just hurt my hand in the second and yeah. carried on. Yeah, I was going to ask, how are your hands? Yeah, it's sad, I think it's just a little bit of an impact injury. He's an awful opponent, quite, quite negative, really, so, mm. you know, look, for, for, for myself, I want to build on, throw a few more shots at the end of that. Yeah. So I was in with a few ones and twos and then went really stepping it up, so it's something for me to work on. How did you land on this MTK bill? Was through Alfie? On uh, yeah, through, through Alfie and uh, through my coach John, got me the opportunity, I think. It's my second MTK bill, made my debut on April on Jazz Dickens one, and then, so this is my second one, yeah. Mm. Yeah, good number of tickets tonight as well. Yeah, done, done, done well on the tickets, you know, it's, it's happy when you train yeah. six, seven weeks and you get to have your family and you, all your friends come support you, so it's happy to put on a performance show, show them what you've been working on the gym. Mm. Hurt him in the first round. Yeah, I hurt him. I should, should have jumped on him. And, and then I, I, I realised about a minute later, I saw him come back to the I was like, ah, oh, fucking hell. Should have jumped on him there. Uh, yeah, Southpaw, tricky. First time I've seen you box. So yeah. I heard Alfie saying as well, do you think it's going to be hard to get you fight? Yeah, I think, I think some of my style, I'm a bit, bit off, a bit on off. I don't really know what I'm doing myself most of the time. So I think it's, it is hard for a few for opponents. Matthew, I think I had about four or five different opponents this week. And, we only got that opponent there yesterday, late, late yesterday, so mm. not really much to work on, so just learn, learn on the job type of fight. How old are you? Uh, 21 now. 21. Alfie, do you want to come in? Oh. <laughs> yes, as I said, first time I've seen him box. Uh, tricky, southpaw, looks very good, good to the body. Yeah, he's brilliant, James. Do you know, uh, at the fighters that we've got, I think he's up there with the top talent, talent we have, anyway, that I manage as well. And, um, you know, he, he, he's, he's going to be tricky to, to match him because, you know, the, as soon as he hits him in the first round, they don't want to come forward and all that. But like what James said, maybe he should have jumped on him, but he's going to learn that. Mm. You know, as experience goes far, like, as he, gets, as he gets more experience with John in the gym and all that, he's, he's going to realise that. He's 21 years old, he's incredible talent, and him and Mikey, Mikey Edges today, they've done massively well for the Four, four Corners gym, and like, we're, we're pleased with it, everything they're doing. So. You know, onwards and upwards for these guys. They'll be out in February, March time. And, you know, I think the future's bright for these guys. We know uh, Liverpool's a proud fighting city and a lot of top fighters have come yeah, out of the city. So uh, if, you, if you build yourself right, uh, yeah, it can lead to big things. Yeah, definitely. You know, Liverpool's, I think, a bit unbiased. <laughs> but so it's one of the best boxing cities there is. You know, if you look, you look on, you've got like Clowns, the Smith, the Smith family, mm. and Rocky, everyone. Oh, too many to name, isn't it, really? Tony, Tony Bowie. Yeah, yeah, Tony Bowie. That's what I'm with those guys, you know, I mean, they're coming towards the end of their careers, you know, this is the new crop of talent, and I think that James, you know, could be not so near distance future, he carries on what he's doing. We'll make sure that he gets on the biggest platforms possible, and the way he's going now, that'll be sooner rather than later him getting on those big platforms. So, you know, we'll just carry on doing what we're doing. You know, he carries on performing like what he's doing. You've got to think about it, he's not even got out of first gear yet in the fight, so there's a lot more to see from him mm. as well, you know. So we, like, I mean, that opponent, that come in at the last, last minute, really, you know, yeah. I was hoping I mean, there was danger that he might not even yeah. be on the show. So, yeah, you know, yeah. we, you, but you have to deal with those sort of things, and it's good that he's dealing with that sort of stuff early on in his career. And, but, you know, we, we've got a team around us yeah. that deal with that for him, so all he's got to worry about is just getting in the ring, performing, and I'll tell you something, if he carries on performing like, he, like he's doing, and, I'll, and I know what he's, got in the, what he's got in the tank, if he carries on, he's going to go a long way. You know, so absolutely pleased with Well, you're in safe hands with Alfie yeah, Warren. Uh, yeah, just considering your style, and as I said, seeing you for the first yeah. time tonight, do you think as you go up levels, your game will improve? Yeah, definitely. So, I mean, I, mean, I had both 30 or damage fights, so I weren't like a massively experienced amateur. I box good kids, but. Every day I'm learning and looking to get better. And I would like to John, John Gillies and Mick Stevo and Four Corners who are brilliant coaches. And every day they're learning on something like we'd be looking to improve on things like we'll watch this fight back, we'll look to learn something else from that. And that's to do, just hopefully get better every fight to I'll carry on putting on good performances. Yeah, kind of, you can kind of see uh, fighters come forward yeah. uh, when you go up in, in the ranks that your style will really suit that, kind of yeah, pick them apart. Yeah, definitely. I think that'll play into my hands a bit more than. It's hard with some of these gentlemen who are here to do a job, aren't they? They're here to, like, they, they, they want to learn it, earn a living. They're in there every week, they don't want to get stopped. So they, they can do what they can to go the four rounds of doing. That's, that's something I've got to learn to deal with myself as well, to I'll put a bit on them as I get, as I get, get more experience. But definitely as I, as I up, the, up the opponents, I think 
hopefully you start seeing a bit more of my style and some new plays into it a bit more. Definitely. All right, James. All right. Uh, thanks for your time. Well done tonight. And I'm sure uh, you. we'll see you out, well, I think, February, Alfie Yeah, said. February, said. Hopefully, yeah, get there February and get about four or five in next year. All right, good man, mate. Cheers. All right, thank you.